In this video you're going to learn things like how to set up and check out your first working copy of a project, how to make commits to that project, how to keep it updated so that you're always working on the same code as everyone else, as well as how to add, delete, and move files around within your project. So let's go ahead and get started. In this tutorial we're using Assembla's hosted subversion solution with integrated ticketing and I've already gone ahead and set this up but if you'd like to learn more about it or set one up for yourself head on over to offers.assembla.com forward slash subversion now inside of the space we need to go and grab the URL to our repository so I've already got that page up here I'm just going to copy it to the clipboard and then we're going to flip over to our projects folder now we're running Windows, so we're going to use one of the most popular SVN plugins out there called Tortoise SVN. To use Tortoise SVN, once you've got it installed, all of the SVN commands are available from the right click menus. And to check out a new project, all you have to do is select SVN Checkout. Once you've selected SVN Checkout, you paste your URL into the repo URL, and then you select the folder you'd like to check the project out to and I've already typed in SVM videos here so we're going to click OK now once we've got that we need to do some initial setup this is where I'm going to show you how to add files to a project now there are several ways to do this we're going to do it uh, all through here using Tortoise uh, SVN so we're going to go to new folder and we're going to create a folder called tags we're going to create a folder called branches and we're going to create a folder called trunk and that's just best practice all of your ongoing development work should be in trunk so we've added these three folders but subversion doesn't actually know about them yet in order to tell subversion about them we have to add them so to do that we're going to right click and in the tortoise SVN menu we're going to select add that pops up a menu that allows us to select what files we want to add. We click OK because we want to add all of them. And that's all there is to adding files to your project. In order to commit changes to your repository, you simply navigate inside of your project folder or select the specific file or files that you want to commit. Then you right click and select SVN commit. Just type a quick log message and then click OK. Now sometimes your working copy will fall out of date. Maybe you've taken a couple days off from the project and someone else has added some work or whatever. But uh, when that happens, and it's always a best practice to do this every time you sit down to work, you want to update your working copy to the most recent revision in your repository. So we're going to navigate inside the trunk and we're going to right click and select SVN Update. SVN update will then check the repository to see if there are any new files and there are we want to make a copy of this and move it to another file or folder so first let's go ahead and add that other folder we need to add it to the project tortoise SVN add and once we've added it we're going to right click drag that is how you move things within a subversion project so that subversion always knows about it. You right click, drag, and drop on top of the new location, and then select SVN move versioned items here. Please note this is also how you would copy things. As you can see right here, there's also SVN copy versioned items here, but we're going to actually move the file. Finally, let's talk about deleting files. You could just delete a file from your working copy, but again, that would corrupt your working copy the next time you went to commit something to the repository or updated uh, your, your local copy. So what we're going to do is we've decided we don't like that new location folder. So the first thing we're going to do is move that readme file back up to the trunk. You can delete a file from your repository by using the Tortoise SVN menu again and selecting Delete. Once you do that, all it actually does is removes the file from the repository. It does not remove the file from your file system. Once we're done making those modifications, we will again commit. And once we finish there, we are done. 
So that about covers it for our basics of subversion workflow tutorial. If you'd like to grab a free 30-day trial of Assembla's subversion hosting with tickets, please head over to offers.assembla.com forward slash subversion and check us out. You can also check out our essential guide to subversion at svn-ref.assembla.com where we have tons of great tutorials an SVN client guide to help you choose the right client for you as well as server download and installation instructions for all major platforms.